I asked him, you can't, you can't uh, open archaeology, uh, uh, you know, uh, any site, any, any, any visited site without storyline. Mm. You must have storyline, mm. you must document mm. that place. Or you have to contact some experts. Then we lead you. We'll see. So you have to do it. How to document. And how to document and how to open it for the public. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can't just <laughs> call a barras and say, I'm opening the, the Majimoto. Mm. So he accepted and he said he will contact me. I called Nico Tanui, he's a, gen a journalist eh, at Kericho County. And uh, Nico agreed that he will document that property. But I had already documented it. And even when MTA came here one day, I saw it. But it was not interesting in reading all those things. <laughs> no, that guy is, he is only interested in the He was not interested in those, so I just felt it. You know, young people cannot easily understand the significance of all these materials until you take them explaining to them. In the near future, somebody will come to the office in Kerecho, who will know, somebody who knows the, the, the benefits of these sites. Unajua kuna ma counties, eh? Unatamani hii Kerecho hii kutana ingekua county yetu. Si unana wakisumu? Walijaribu kusema kutana hiko kwa hapa. Lakini nilipo toa documentary, the historical background, Yes, I know Kitmikai. In is it? Is it? Is it same? Same hills. Exactly. Same. Yeah. You know these are resource place. These are very resourceful uh, place, which can. Kumbuka the whole of the land here is thirty-five acres. Thirty-five acres. The title deed. Mbapa hiko area. Na. Hakuna mtu hata anakuja kufutaka kufanya biyasara hapa. Unaona wale watoto wanakujanga ama buses? Hakuna hata chai mtu anasema jenge katiyotu kwa hapa ya chai. Si mbwana hawa hata wezi fikiria. So hata kuna siku, siku just imagine saanini usiku, nasikia mabuses wanahutu hapa kwa gate. Kuangalia, hakuna a school from... From Mombasa, in Aitwa, Aldina Bisra. Ati walikuja kutembea potana, wakijua the area, hata kuna nini cottages, ambapo watalala, kuna hostels. Sasa walipo ingia mabase siwa mbili. Niliona gesa siku yoko. Mbusa, nikaenda paka tunnel, ndiyo nikawaombea malasi. Wakalala huko, vila kola. Walimu. What? Wade from high school. It was very bad. High school, Aldina Bistram is a very senior school in Mbasa. Unajua? Ni vile serikali ya ijataka kutambua mahali hapa kama... Now you see, what make a archaeologist to to go through his excavation? You see signs like this one. Such. These lines are, some are horizontally, some are vertically. Sunana kama isi. You put a fossil in between this layer and this layer. So now that there's a line there. Oh yeah. So to little eye. So now that traces. He will go and rub it. Oh, rub it. So if you want to come easy, if you want how these lines in a in a pangana, when I draw, there must be fossils around. Meaning that there are some other things we cannot understand. Yeah. So now, at a at a, you keep what a. You see this one running horizontally. In it was a, a rock formed in a, a, at different time. This one and this one. Oh. So now, just imagine. Unana kuna line apa. Unana i line. Hmm. And lastu the second one is this one, which means this. Oh, layers. This person. Ages. This layers. Was formed at a different time when this was formed. Yes, yes, yes. This one is older than this, sir. Huh? Yes. So all the deposition, all silts which were deposited over here, mm. when this was formed, was 
they concealed all those defects. These ones were already, already compacted. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Alafu, mm -hmm. so if kama kuna wanyama ambao walikuwa hapa juu, walikuwa deposited hapa, mm -hmm. hii watakati hii inakuwa formed, mm -hmm. zina wafinya, alafu wanakuwa fossilized. Mm -hmm. So you see the whole of this one from here, mm -hmm. Up to this, even if you are dealing with ages, mm. you will find this one was formed so, for so many years. Mm. So now another, another one is just... That's why the layer is thick. Yeah, that's why the layer is thick. So you may see after one million years, the mm. eagle was formed. That's why the layer is thick. Mm. So now not a Jew pale, still is still is formed. I could chukua muda sana. Iyo ingine so now is still is na Caribbean. Yeah. I could chukua muda sana. So we are talking about. Uh... So when doing dating, this one what we call the geological yeah. periods. You, were, you may find this one from here to here was about Jurassic period or Miocene. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, Fale, that's a kuta ilikuwa ni Pleistocene, ambapo ilikuwa formed within a short period. Mm. So all the fossils unapata um, here are older than the one you will get up there. Mm. Mm. So now, is this process still going on or it stopped? Evolution. Yeah. Evolution is still continuing. Even you, right now you are involving <laughs> another another stage. <laughs> we are and we are now at uh, Homo sapiens sapiens. Yeah. The man with ability. With ability, you think. But c the, here comes this what we call digital world, yeah. which will make some of your part, body parts not functioning. <laughs> no, no. Now, you don't, you will reach a time you don't take a pen to do right. your mathematics. Huh? Mm -hmm. You just want to use a machine. Just a machine. So, which means the limbs of your hands will not be working. Working. So that will make, they will disappear. Mm. Yeah, that's the essence of uh, evolution. Evolution means it is the the, the process of change in living organism over a number of years. It is involv involving the beginning of a new species from earlier species. No, no. And there are four factors which determine evolution. One is uh, mutation, mm -hmm. uh, natural selection, isolation, and adaptation. Mm. No. This is, that's real biology you now. <laughs> And that is real biology. You know, we used to read evolution under <laughs> genetics in form 4. Yeah. And there were these things. So we could not easily understand why oh, yeah, does evolution and uh, natural selection come about. <laughs> when on, on my research mission yeah. about adaptation, we went somewhere called Bandung, that is in Central Africa. Now it's called the DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo. There's a part of that area which is very forested. Now, the, 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 the kind of man you'll find there, the tallest will be about four feet. <laughs> that is the tallest. <laughs> All of them yeah. will be at that, four feet down. down yeah. They told us, even if you come here with, the, with the, your tall wife as you are, your products will be as dwarf as we are. Rather, <laughs> <laughs> which means that is adaptation. Uh, yeah, adaptation. The real adaptation. And that kind of uh, the nini uh, adaptation, that factor makes uh, like you now you go to Mombasa, mm -hmm. and the, that is a very different climate from here. Right? Yeah, of course. You will become a bit brown. brown uh, So that is now. Uh, That's adapt adaptation. adaptation. <laughs> yes, you are adapting the climate of that area for you to survive. Uh, that is why we people here, if you are posted somewhere in Northeastern, yeah. you find that's a punishment. You feel it as a punishment. It's a punishment. Because you are not used to the For place. you to adapt to that place, it will take time. It will take time. Yeah? You see. So the factor of adaptation also make the evolution to occur. No, no. It's a very good place, a good story to talk about. But most 